Debbie, you got everybody you need? Everybody here from. Go ahead and call this uh, bond advisory committee meeting to order. And uh, we all, hopefully, you got your packet in the mail way early this time. Um, any on looking to uh, approve the minutes from last meeting? Got a motion. Do we have a second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Item carries. Uh, item 3A. Good afternoon. Debbie Miller with Public Works Department. I'm here to present the items for consideration. Um, item 3A is the recommend to council the allocation of $90,000 in the 2007 bond authorization for unlisted parks. This is for the Pilot Recreation Center. This was a listed project and it was remodeled in 2016. At that time, the roof was examined and determined to be in good condition. They've had some recent leaks and we reinspected it and we now need to replace that roof. So that's what we're going to do with the 90,000. Do, do you have a map on this one? Because this is the, I have no idea where, where this is. Do we have one? No. I. I don't have the memo. 1434. Okay. I will make sure that we do that. Well, I just have this feeling I, that if council may not even be aware of what the pilot rec, pilot has anybody know what that is? Where is it? Can't be that far away. Well, I know. I, I'm not. But I it's have just. No idea. Oh, it's uh, 1435 Northwest Second. And what is the building used for? It's a recreation center in the park. Really, I've just mm -hmm. never been in that area. Well, does anybody have any other questions since we're all kind of bamboozled on this one? It needs a roof. There we go. <laughs> I got a motion. Do we got a second? second? There we go. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? All right. Let's go get that building a roof. Item 3B. Item 3B is to recommend to council um, resolution declaring 500000 in funds from the 2007 bond authorization from our traffic section. It's surplus money, and we are reallocating this money for um, citywide striping. Uh, it, the striping wears out, and so we have uh, locations identified, and we have a list, and so we go through and we restripe that. It helps a lot, and we have used all of our money and need some more. Are there any questions on 3B? No, motion to approve. I have a motion. We got a second? Second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Item 3C. Okay, item 3C. We were contacted by the city of the village. Hefner Road is the city limit line right down the center of the road, and they are currently resurfacing the south side, which is in their city limits, and so we are going to resurface the north side, and that's what these funds will be for. Uh -oh. As Ward 8, I've been waiting for this. I was like, where is that? I know. Okay, wonderful. So, yes, and this will be from Penn to Lake Hefner. Lovely. I get to, I'm glad to know that's in my future. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> I have a motion. Do we have a second? A second. All those in favor, say aye. 
Aye. Those opposed? Wonderful. 3D. Okay, item 3D is uh, to recommend to council the approval of the project PC0659, which is arteri arterial resurfacing. Um, this is a corridor project that we put together similar to what we did on South Walker. And this corridor will be on Northwest 122nd from Rockwell over to Portland. And then we have included MacArthur from 122nd up to Memorial. So this will all be bid as one project with one contractor with some incentive so that they can get in and get it done. Um, three miles of this is being funded with the Better Streets Safer Cities sales tax, and we have one mile that's being funded with bond. Are there any questions on item D? Recommendation, do we have a second? Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Item 3E. Okay, item 3E is to recommend to council the approval of a new project PC0680 is arterial resurfacing for Pole Road. This is located um, south of I-240 down to 89th Street. It's right on the east side of I-35. Um, up there right, there in the corner of 240 where it says State Highway 3 is the OG&E. Um, it's one of their centers that they have with a lot of trucks going in and out. Um, there is also a couple of new developments that are going in south of there. So Pole Road, which is in very bad condition, needs to be, re re well, not really resurfaced. We're going to reconstruct it to a two-lane asphalt section that will hold up to the, tr uh, the trucks that are going to have to use it. No, it's two lanes, but it's narrow. And also there will be some changes with the access to OG&E with the 240 interchange work, and so this will help them have access to their facility. No, 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 this will be in the future when they do that next loop that goes over to the east. No. Are there any other questions? It's less than a mile. So it, if, you, if you're familiar with the area, you can see where it starts. There's a, the concrete section that comes around OG&E, and then the asphalt section starts, and that's where we're going to pick it up and take it down to 89th Street. So it, it's less than a mile, maybe seven tenths of a mile. We're going to reconstruct it. It's terrible. Yeah. I've been on that road. Any other questions? Can I get a motion? Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Item 3F. Okay, our last item is to recommend to council a resolution declaring 500000 in funds from the 2007 bond authorization. This is traffic surplus, and this is reallocating the funds for project uh, P180 downtown lighting. We are having to do some maintenance. We're doing some LED conversions, so we're having to purchase some materials and pay the contractor to switch those out. Are there any other questions? Motion, do we have a second? Yes. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Those opposed? Um, item carries. Thank you. Thank you. Um, informational items. We have the GEO bond executive summary as of August 31st, 2019. For the month of August, we had $8.1 million in bond expenditures with the fiscal year to date just slightly under that due to the refunding in July. We have total expenditures for the last 12 months of $103.9 million with an average expenditure over those months of $8.6 million. We have an 85% requirement for the IRS to spend funds within a three-year period. 
And currently we are at 44% for the sale year of 2017 that has a spend down deadline of May 2020. So we're on target comparatively to last year at this time. We were at the same percentage. And we um, then box three shows that we have um, our bond remaining balance that we're tracking as we go along. Wonderful. Any questions on the informational items? All right, hearing none. Any new business? Any item? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, thank you very much. I, but I already blanked on your name. We have a new member from Ward 6, Luke Atkinson. Welcome. He, he got here so fast, his name didn't even appear on the front of our sheet, and he beat his sign. Uh, so, welcome, Luke. Um, wow, that was a... Okay, wait, we got to go through it all before I can declare a victory. Items from the committee, uh, for committee members. Any amazing citizens who've shown up at this place? Lastly, I entertain a motion for an adjournment. Oh, wonderful. See you all next month.